how to set up your own VPN on Windows. First, we need a VPS server. Go to bit.ly forward slash Vultur50 coupon or click on the link on the description below. We're going to claim a $50 coupon which we can use to get free VPN for two months. Click on Get Coupon. Click on Sign Up. We must now create an account. Just type in your email address and your chosen password and click on Create Account. Now, in order to prevent abuse, you will need to enter your credit card details. Vulture will verify your account with a small pre-authorization charge to your credit card, $2.50. But this will disappear from your statement within a short amount of time and the $50 credit is absolutely free. After typing in your personal and credit card details, click on the check box beside I agree to the terms of service and click on link credit card. Now, let's deploy our first VPN server. Click on the plus sign. Next is to select the location of your VPN. For this video, we will be choosing Seattle. For server type, select Debian 8x64. For server size, select $5 per month. Scroll down to server name. You can type VPN and click Deploy Now. We just have to wait a couple of seconds for this status to show that it's already running. To make sure that it's running, we should refresh the page. Now click on the ellipses or the three dots and click on Server Details. What we're going to need here are the IP address, username, and the password. The next step is to install Buddy and FileZilla if you don't have them already. Go to Night Dot com. Scroll down and look for FileZilla and Putty and then click on Get Your Nine Night. Open the file that you downloaded to install Putty and FileZilla. Click on Close to finish the install. Now open Putty. Copy the IP address on the server details page and paste it on hostname. Click on Open. When you see a PuTTY security alert, click on Yes. When you see Login As, type Root and then Enter. Then go again to the Server Details page, click on the icon on the right side of the I icon, and click it to copy the password. To paste it on PuTTY, you must hover the cursor over PuTTY and press the right-click button of your mouse. It's normal not to see any text or anything when you paste something in the password prompt. 
Now, press Enter. If you did it correctly, you will see this. If you get Access Denied, just type in the password manually by copying it from the server details. The next step is to install OpenVPN on your VPS. Go to Google and search for OpenVPN NYR. First on the search result will be a page from GitHub. Click that. Scroll down until you see the installation section. Copy this line and paste it on Putty. Again, to paste it on Putty, right-click. And then press Enter. If there's already an IP address in there, just press Enter. If port 1194 is fine for you, press Enter. For DNS, you can leave it at default or choose another. Then, press Enter. For client name, you can change this to be more descriptive, say the name of the location, i.e. VPN Seattle, and then press Enter. Press Enter again. The script will now do its thing and install OpenVPN. Next is to install the OpenVPN client. Just Google OpenVPN Windows Download. Click on the first link. I'm using Windows 10 64-bit, so I'll be downloading the one for Windows Vista and later 64-bit. Install the file that you just downloaded. Now, open FileZilla. Copy the IP address from the server details and paste it on host. Type root for username. Copy and paste the password. Type 22 on port. Click on Quick Connect. Now, you have to drag the file that ends with OVPN into the left side I will be placing the OVPN file on my Downloads folder. Open your Downloads folder and look for that file. Select and copy that file. Now go to Start All Programs and then Open VPN, then Shortcuts, and then select Open VPN configuration file directory. Paste the file we copied earlier and when prompted that you need administrator access, click on continue. Now open OpenVPN GUI. If you are prompt with user account control, click on yes. The OpenVPN icon will appear on the lower right side. Right-click on that icon and then click on Connect.
You'll notice that the icon turned green which means you're already connected to your VPN. To check if you're really connected, go to www.whatismyip.com and you'll see that your IP address is the same as the IP address of your VPS. To stop using VPN, just right-click on the icon once again and click on Disconnect. So, that's how you set up your very own VPN. Please don't forget to click on the thumbs up button and subscribe.